It is the first week of college, and I decided to go and see my friend at the library. Now, while I was there, I locked eyes with one of the most beautiful specimens of a man that I had ever seen. Now, it wasn't just his build, it was, let me not get carried away. <laughs> Needless to say, I spent the rest of the semester just trying to be in the same room with him. I spent so much time and so much energy, and to be honest, I was running out of cute outfits. <laughs> so I decided to borrow a page from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's book, a mutual friend of ours managed to get us on a blind date, and months later, I think it's safe to say, I'm the happiest girl in the world. <laughs> now, that is exactly how catalysts work. My research is based on synthesis of metal complexes that have a wide application, but they're mostly used as catalysts. You know, those chemicals that speed up reaction. Now picture particle A and particle B, and they're perfectly made for each other. And they're in a reaction container, and they're in continuous movement. Now a reaction will only occur if particle A and particle B collide in just the right orientation with just the right amount of energy. Now this is not always easy, because they also have to overcome the electronic repulsion between them. You know, those friends who come up to you on some bloody hell, now you want to attach yourself to this block. Well, a catalyst works by lowering the amount of energy that is required for a reaction to start. A catalyst works by creating an alternative pathway with much lower activation energy. Now, it does this by temporarily binding itself to the particles and aligning them perfectly in a nice restaurant. Oh, sorry, and aligning them perfectly <laughs> in the correct space for a reaction to occur. Now, this is not always easy because sometimes the particle A has to go through some not so charming particles for it to reach its Prince Harry. Now, it is important to use catalyst because an effective catalyst means that we use less energy and less time and less materials. And also, there is a minimal amount of waste products that are produced in that reaction. An innovative catalyst directly meets more than half of the sustainable development goals that we are all set to contribute and to complete before 2030. Thank you.